Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. And this time, kind of last minute, I kind of thought, well, let's do the rough or the drag, however you want to call it. Uh, when I was uh, growing up, it was called a rough. I believe, I, well, I know that's what it was called, at least that's what it was told to me, and I think that's how it was on the the old uh, National Association of Rudimental Drummer 26 standard rudiment things. And then now that it's the basic 40 or whatever or something like that, I think it's called a, was this it? Really? Eh. Called a drag. These rudiments are also included 26. Yeah, it's called a drag. So, uh, I had asked um, a uh, rudimental expert, basically, what it is, and uh, that person told me, without any names, because apparently there's a big hoop to loo about it. What is a hoop to loo? Where do they come up with that? Hoop to loo? I kind of like it. I'm going to use it now. Get in frame. There you go. Uh, anyway, this person told me that a drag is considered two on one hand, followed by one on another. Hmm. That, a, that a rough is three different ones, like... So, that that's what I was told is the official... Um, definition but you know personally I don't care if you call it an endoplasmic reticulum or a central body cavity or whatever it doesn't change what it is it is what it is so what it is is whatever is gonna happen here and uh, let's just go ahead and see what happens I haven't done this one in a while let's check this out shall we I don't, I don't know. I think I might have changed the the something from from the going up to going down. I might have changed it a little bit somehow, some something minutely, and I'll only know it when I when I watch the playback, and I'll, I'll post it no matter what. So there might have been that. The transition was smooth enough. The roughs were good enough. It wasn't a bad representation of the uh, rudiment, but uh, you know what? I think we're going to get a, um, a second opinion. Hey, Cletus! Cletus, come here, Wev. Wev, dude, brother, whatever. You know, she... Hey, you heard that, didn't you? Yeah, man. Well, tell me what you thought about it or whatever. All right? Well, I thought it was rough. How come when you just did that you sounded like Ronald Reagan? What? What do you mean? Well, I don't know. Could be... What's wrong with you? You alright today? You on some psychedelic drugs or something, man? You got some... some grit or something in your hair? What is... oh god, what is that? Man, my dogs are barking. Why? I had to walk across a desert today. A desert? Yeah, man. A desert. But if we walk like a mile south, we drown. And dude, there's, well, trees. No, there's no deserts around here, man. I know, but that kitty box. I just, I can't help it. Well, I don't, I don't get it. What do you mean? 
you walked across a desert kitty box, what does that have to do with anything? Man, I have to walk across the kitty box at least once a day. Are you talking about like physically like walking over the kitty box? <sighs> yeah. And why would you do that? Man, I'm a camel. From Saudi Arabia. And I'm living in Mississippi. Yeah. Well, the box with all that sand in it reminds me of home. All right, I mean, I can kind of get some of that homesick stuff and all that and all that, but... Hey, I'm not buying your walking through the kitty box because I know it's not just grit in there and all that. You know what I mean? Hey, what? Help me with my arm, man. All right, what? Smell that. Smell what? Fool. My hoof. All right. Oh, jeez. What the? Jeez. Told you. Peace. Cletus, man, will you wash your hand? Please. Oh my god. I can't want to tell you. God, it was nasty. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. Uh, you know, that was fun. I didn't forget what room I played. What did I play? Oh, the rough. Um, when you're practicing learning the rough and stuff like this, basically remember it's a single stroke roll. In, in the sense that it is a, uh, it's just a, a thing like where are them sticks at. It's it's just basically this. Okay, and then it's sort of like a flam in this sense, except you have two of the little grace notes instead of one, like this. I think that second one wasn't too good. But basically, if, if you can just do, uh, think of it as a, when you're doing the rudiment to make it smooth, you know, slow, fast, slow, you think of it as this bit. All right? Now, when you're playing this, you're going to do a stroke that's like this. Okay, like a, a control tap, but it'll be a control diddle. So, um, basically on the Rudiments 101, that's, that's all the information you need. And you need to just, you know, work with that, get used to it, and um, see what happens. And, and keep going from there, you know, get started with, uh, with your roughs, drags, endoplasmic reticulum, central body cavities, you know, whatever, spoke, whatever you want to call it, okay? Don't worry about it too much, just practice it, and everything will turn out okay, all right? Thanks for watching, man, and remember, it's just drums.